Another day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we got studying, probably gonna go to the gym later, and then probably we'll film another YouTube video. And let me show you a piece of technology I've been looking at to add to my arsenal of filming gear that I'm really, really considering. And uh, yeah, let me just show you this because this thing, I'm considering a new camera. Considering a new camera, and it also comes with a microphone and some other cool accessories built in. Uh, little spoiler alert, it's made by Insta360. It's somewhat affordable compared to buying like a like a full frame camera or a micro thir four thirds camera. It has a one inch sensor and a bunch of other cool features. Been watching tons of videos on this. So let me show you what this is in a sec and we'll, we'll hop right into this video. So this is the camera itself, the Insta, or sorry, not Insta. DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I caught the name completely wrong. Um, kind of out of it right now. As you can see, it's got this cool screen. It's on a gimbal, so it actually looks like my current webcam. This is the Insta360 link. So it looks like that. So it has built in like physical stabilization, not digital. Well, it does actually have digital as well. Um, you can like attach on a battery pack. It has a built in tripod for filming. You can hold it like this. So it's like more natural to hold rather than a smartphone where you're having like hor hold it like this horizontally like I'm doing. And this is the this is the the creator kit one. Uh, so it comes with a bunch of cool accessories like the DJI Mic 2. Uh, so it just like clips onto your shirt. Also comes with a magnet to clip onto your shirt. Um, it's got like an extra stand, so smaller than this, but it's like it does it's not a battery pack or anything, but it's a it's a basically gives you uh, larger amount of grip on it. Um, cool rotating screen so you can flip, uh, you can film both vertical and horizontal video. As I mentioned, um, it's a one inch sensor, so it can um, capture a lot of detail, good for low light. And I think it's also just 10 bit recording, which it had like, it can film up to a billion colors or something like that. When eight bit recording can only do 16 million. So huge, huge difference. Um, so really good at capturing bright, vibrant colors and a good array of colors as well. Here are the specs. Um, kind of expensive currently also like somewhat sold out like I can't even buy this right now um, and just for comparison like the Sony ZV uh, Sobe ZV one mark two which everyone compares this one to is like 899 or something like that it's like nine hundred dollars so this is this is the creator kit with all the accessories and it's like substantially less expensive so I'm really thinking about this I'm really thinking about pulling the trigger it's got great reviews everyone loves it uh yeah and just for context everything i've been filming recently has all been on my iphone uh shot at 1080p 30 frames per second quality is really good i have really no complaints with this at all i'm not even using a microphone right now in the audio i normalize it uh in post just so the levels are are accurate and it, it brings it up to a level that's um you know good for the viewer so it's not too loud it's not too quiet it will like make the volume within a certain range um, just so the audio level stay constant and, and stable, low volatility throughout the entire record, which I really like. So the thing is on this thing, uh, my image quality would look insane. Uh, basically it would look as good as like a camera, like a dedicated DSLR camera, which is kind of crazy. So comment down below your thoughts on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. If you've heard anything uh, on the internet about this, let me know in the comments, love to hear it. All right, people, so it's been a successful day. A lot of the stuff I did today, I didn't actually record, but I went to the gym uh, with my friend Eric not too long ago, just got back, currently cooking dinner. Um, and now I just wanna give a quick shout out to the MacBook Air M1. I've talked about this laptop a million times on my channel and I can't, I can't like emphasize enough how great of a laptop this is. Personally, I honestly think if you need a laptop for basic needs, basic web browsing, basic even coding, if you're into software development or any type of any other type of coding, um, this is a perfectly good laptop. And for video editing, this video edits better than my PC, which has a dedicated GPU in it. The M1 chip has such a good graphics graphics like capabilities. Um, so I just highly recommend this. The only downside I really see with this laptop currently is that the screen is a little bit small. It's only like a 13.3 inch display. However, the display is actually really good in terms of color gamut, color accuracy, color um, vibrancy, and uh, overall sharpness of the display is really good too because I think it's above, it's around 1440p in resolution, um, which makes video editing on this thing amazing. So can't talk about this laptop enough. It's amazing. 
Um, it's on sale for around $750 a lot, although you can buy a third party used um, for even less money. So guys, with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys checking out the channel and I will see you guys on the next video from Tech with Scott. Peace out everyone. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. If you're interested, click over here to subscribe to the channel and click over here for another amazing tech video review slash tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Appreciate all you guys. See you in the next video.